Good morning, friends. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to begin in child's pose on our mat with our hips back over our heels and our arms extended out overhead. Today, we're going to focus our practice on committing our day to the Lord. And so let's walk our hands over to the left, feeling a nice stretch on our side. And now walk them over to the right. And now back to center. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3 reminds us, commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. Coming up to sit on your heels, we're going to stretch our ankles. So if you feel a nice stretch on the front here, that's wonderful. You can stay where you are. If you're not feeling a stretch in your ankles, let's just ever so carefully raise our knees up. You can lean back on your hands even if you need to. And while we're here, I encourage you to exhale your day. Breathe out your plans to God. And as you inhale, inhale God's direction and guidance. Exhaling your day, putting your plans in God's hand and inhaling God's direction and guidance. And now if your knees are raised, let's lower them down. And now we're gonna tuck our toes underneath us and sit back. This can be really intense, but it does stretch the bottoms of our feet. It's a wonderful stretch for us. And now taking your hands in front of you as if you're holding them together, you're holding your own hands, we're going to just very gently rotate them moving them in different directions in little circles, warming up our wrists. Great, let's walk our hands out, coming down to our belly. We're going to bend our right leg, bringing our foot back towards our sits bones. Come up on our left elbow, and then use our right arm to reach back and put some gentle pressure on the top of that right foot. releasing back to center let's come up to our right elbow and reach back our left arm to come to the top of our left foot so bending that left foot up towards our sits bones trying while we're here to keep our shoulders away from our ears stretching as much as we're able and release let's come fully to our belly for a moment oh just breathing here bringing our right arm out to the side let's place our left hand palm flat on the floor our elbows bent alongside us and we're going to gently push into that left hand and you'll find this lifts up our left shoulder and we're going to start to feel a nice stretch across our right shoulder Remembering today to exhale your plans to God and inhale his direction and guidance. Now releasing, let's reverse that, bringing our left arm out to the side, our right hand in right by our right shoulder, and then gently pressing into our right hand to feel a nice stretch across the front of our left shoulder. releasing down let's put our hands out overhead full body stretch and when you're ready we'll walk back bringing our hips up over our knees arms still extended out so that we're in puppy pose our hips are over our knees our arms are out and our chest is allowed to just rest heavily fall towards the ground Now, let's take our right arm and we're going to thread it underneath our left arm. 
This is called threading the needle. And now we're gonna bring that same right arm up and let's see if we can't twist and lift it up towards the sky. Let's repeat that again, threading it under our left arm, making sure we're breathing this whole time. And then extending and lifting it up and out towards the sky. One more time. Bring our right arm under our left. Breathing into that stretching. And then bringing it out and twisting open to raise our right arm up towards the sky. Let's come back to puppy pose with both arms out overhead. And we're gonna repeat this for the left side. Let's bring that left arm underneath our right, threading the needle, breathing into that stretch, and then bringing it out. Let's stretch our left arm up towards the sky, twisting open. This whole time, as we bring our left arm back under for threading the needle, not only are we breathing, but we have our hips firmly over our knees. Extending our left arm back up, twisting open. Looks like our lower half is firmly rooted while our upper half is free to move and stretch. And final time, let's bring that left arm under our right, threading the needle. And then releasing it up and out, twisting open. And back to center, wonderful job friends. Walking our hands in so that they come to be under our shoulders. Let's step our right foot forward for a low lunge. We're keeping that back left knee down. And then I want you to come up, find your balance here, and cup your hands together in front of you. We're going to reach up to the sky. We're going to give our day to God. So let's lean back can do a lot or a little, it's whatever is right for you this morning. But keeping your balance, engaging your core, lean back, reaching up to the sky with your cupped hands. Picture giving what's on your heart and mind, what's on your to-do list, up to the Lord. Coming back to center, let's take our hips and shift them back, straightening that right foot out in front of us. You can fold down over your right leg if you want to, thanking God that he takes interest in our day. And now returning back upright, bringing our right foot back, come to our hands and knees again. Let's lower down to our elbows and tuck our toes and we're gonna lift our hips for dolphin pose. just like downward facing dog, but we're on our elbows now. Still feeling that strength in our arms and lifting our hips. Lowering back to our knees, let's raise up onto our hands and this time step our left foot through to a low lunge, having that back right knee down. And once more, let's come up, find our balance and cup our hands together once more. And this time, as we back bend and raise our hands up as much as we're able, we're going to picture receiving a blessing from God, receiving peace, guidance, direction for the day. Because not only does our God care to know the details of what we're up to, our God loves to be invited to be involved and wants to be part of your day and lowering our hands, returning our body up to center. We're gonna shift our hips back over our right knee so that our left foot extends out straight in front of us. And then if it's in your practice to fold forward over that front leg, you're certainly welcome to do so. Once more thanking our God for being one who sees and who cares and who does provide guidance through the Holy Spirit. Now coming back to your hands and knees, let's tuck our toes and lift our hips for downward facing dog. 
pedaling out all of the stretching that we've done, letting your spine wiggle, feeling the stretches that you've done in your shoulders and in your hips, stepping forward between our hands. We'll roll up ever so gently to come to a standing posture, one vertebrae at a time, saving our head for the very end. And while we're here, friends, I invite you to just let out the biggest sigh of an exhale. Breathe in through your nose and then just let it exhale out of your mouth. Oh. We can give everything over to God and trust that he is with us in the day ahead. If you'd like to pray with me, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Thank you, friends, for joining me today grace and peace. Hey friends, thanks for joining us today as we connected with God through movement and prayer. Remember, making daily time with God a priority in your life is one of the best ways to grow in your faith. Now, if you enjoyed this class, we'd like to offer you access to our free video, Flowing with the Holy Spirit. Now, this is a part of our Getting in Sync with the Holy Spirit program as a part of our Rua Space memberships. It's a flow that will connect your movement with your breath as you stretch your mind, body, and spirit. So if you want access to the video, just click on the link below, drop in your name and your email, and we'll send it right away to you. And please feel free to leave a comment with other classes and practices that you'd like to see. And please like it and share it if you enjoyed it and think that someone else could be encouraged or helped by the video. And of course, subscribe so that you can be notified and practice with us with all the new videos that we're adding all the time that help you make space for God in your life. So remember to click on the link below and we'll see you in the next class. Grace and peace.